Yeah, I'm Michael. Uh, I'm currently at the Greenhouse Restaurant in Dublin, and a small restaurant, 40 seats, 42 on a push, and uh, five days a week, Tuesday to Saturday, lunch and dinner. There's three, five, or seven courses, seasonal, uh, small menus, lunch is small, two, two, and two, and five course menu surprise for lunch. So what we do is what's current on the menu, probably coming off the menu very soon actually, is a roast foie gras, uh, wild mushroom broth, uh, some young shisha leaves, pickled simaji mushroom, and on the side we serve a little apple toast with smoked eel and a little foie gras snow. So mushroom stock will be infused overnight about 20 hours. So foie gras is pan roasted and we glaze it with some Tokai vinegar and some light veal jus. What we have also with the dish is a little Roscoff onion will be braised for 20 hours, 24 hours and 60 degrees. Seared off first, charred. Uh, they come intensely sweet when they've been cooked like that. And uh, what we give them is quite a charred edge to go through that extra sweetness so they become sickly and overly rich. And then use seasonal mushrooms, whatever is available at the time. Use chanterelle, use black trumpet, seps, a lot of seps normally on the base to give it depth for it. Uh, some shallots, uh, blackened shallots, garlic, some young herbs on the base as well. Then on the side is a little toast of apple, uh, which is basically crispy apple juice uh, as a little toast shape. And on that, some smoked eel, lightly served with smoked eel only, uh, some pickled compressed apple and marinated apple, a little foie gras. The consomme is light, uh, heavy on mushroom flavor, but light itself. Uh, and the apple gives light freshness to it, and the foie gras now just accentuates the foie gras, which is warm on a dish. So it's a roast squab pigeon, imperial pigeon, and uh, what we do is serve with that some uh, butternut squash, pumpkin, different preparations of that, a uh, little bit of licorice. We use salted uh, Finnish licorice, which we make a little, into a little dressing, and light sherry vinegar jus, and a little canister of uh, bacon. So the pigeon's been first poached at 61 degrees for 40 minutes, and then it's been rested 10 minutes room temperature, then iced after. After that, we roast the pigeon, and uh, baste it with butter, oven six minutes. We use low ovens, 100 degree ovens, and a good rest in Altersham at 60 degrees, uh, ideally about 20, 25 minute rest for the bird. So legs are just being confit, and we use chicken fat instead of duck fat. I find it lighter finish on the, on the legs with the pigeon. And also offal, we sear off the liver, and all the gizzards and everything, we make a little parfait and do a little, uh, well, inverted commas, raviola with it on, on a dish and uh, with a pear. We give a little smoke for the pigeon just a la minute, just before it goes, so you don't get the heavy bitterness of smoke. It's just light surface smoke on, on, on the pigeon. We use just a little bit of hay, any box you want to use. I just happen to, happen to have old wine boxes there where we use for smoking. And literally two to three minutes smoke, no more. And after resting, and just carve it off the bone, and that's what we're looking for. So the base of what we do today is uh, we have a little uh, volantine base with peanut butter and on top of that we have a little tempered sheet of chocolate uh, followed by a little agar set uh, caramel jelly with vanilla and salted butter and then on top of that a little rocher of split milk chocolate and uh, finished with some sea booked caramelized sea booked on puree, sea booked on gel and a little brown butter and sea booked on ripple ice cream. And on the dish, what we've done is, is the base is just basically tempered chocolate combined with some peanut butter and uh, fondant base. And that's been pressed and let set overnight. And topped up then with the caramel jelly, which is caramel, buttermilk, uh, vanilla, and set with agar. So it's soft set with agar. There's a little bit of gelatin through as well, so the mouthfeel is better than just agar set things. Ice cream, brown butter ice cream. We use Paco Jet uh, milk ice cream base, and we put brown butter through the mix. And then we ripple it with sea booked on sorbet. Mm -hmm.